don't know. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kelsey Lynch, and I am the Behavioral Health Navigator for Bainbridge Island Police Department. The program that I work for partners mental health professionals like myself with police departments throughout Kitsap County to help provide in-the-moment crisis management and follow-up connection to care. We work to help individuals with behavioral health concerns connect and follow through with treatment services and resources in the hopes that if they are connected with the right services and the right supports, that it will decrease their contact with law enforcement due to their behavioral health concerns. However, tonight I am not here representing Bay Ridge Island Police Department. I'm not here representing the behavioral health outreach program that I work for. Tonight I am here as a resident of Bainbridge Island. Mm -hmm. I am here because I have personal and professional experience working to support individuals before and after major suicide attempts. I am here as a member of this community because I am worried. I am worried that in the three hours we were here this evening, roughly 380 students aged 12 to 18 will attempt suicide. On average, just over 3,000 high school students attempt suicide every day in the United States. And that number continues to rise across the nation. In 2017, there were 47,000 suicide-related deaths in the United States. Mm -hmm. It is estimated that for every completed suicide, there are roughly 30 attempts, which means that there were over 1.4 million suicide attempts that same year. In the last decade, suicide rates have increased by almost 30%. For youth age 10 to 25, suicide is now the second leading cause of death. Imagine being only 10 years old and contemplating taking your own life. Here in Kitsap County, the trends match the rest of the nation. In Kitsap County last year, an average of 209 calls each month were coded as suicide related by 911 dispatchers. However, it is my experience that the number of calls involving suicidal ideation or attempts is significantly higher than that. Oftentimes, our officers will respond to calls relating to things like domestic violence, shoplifting, and welfare checks, and learn through their interactions with those individuals that they are experiencing a significant mental health concern or suicidal ideation. Here on Bainbridge Island, a significant number of the referrals I receive from the department relate to youth and families. I spend probably half of my time working closely with Bainbridge High School staff to try and ensure that our youth have access to crisis services, to trauma-informed therapy, to substance use counseling, and support from their own families. In the past two years that I have worked in Kitsap County, I have had countless people countless people throughout the county tell me that Bainbridge Island is different than the rest. There is a perception in this county that here on the island, we don't have the same problems as faced everywhere else. They tell me that we have a significantly higher socioeconomic class, and therefore we have better schools, better access to resources, less mental illness, no teenage drug use, and youth that are independent and resilient. But when I hear people make those statements, I can't help but think, if all of that were true, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> In the last month alone, I have worked with over a dozen youth on Bainbridge Island who have recently attempted suicide. The reality is, is that Bainbridge is not the exception to the rule. Our youth are struggling just as much as everywhere else. And just like everywhere else, once kids enter the mental health system, they have just as hard of a time finding the right resources and the right support. So if a kid on Bainbridge was to attempt suicide, what are the resources and options available? Well, they could go to the hospital, 
spend an average of six to 12 hours waiting to be medically cleared, screened by the social worker, and maybe they will be admitted to an inpatient unit for a day or two. But probably not. They would more likely be screened by the social worker, given a safety plan that was come up with by that social worker and their parents, and be discharged to outpatient treatment. But where do you go for outpatient treatment? Well, if you have Medicaid, you can go to Kitsap Mental Health in Bremerton. The staff turnover rate usually means that you would see three to four different clinicians within the first three months of your treatment. Mm -hmm. And you would be lucky if you were seen once every two weeks or once a month. Mm -hmm. You could go to Bainbridge Youth Services. They provide phenomenal counseling, but they have a limited capacity. A significant number of their hours are also during the school day. And if you are already struggling with things like grades or attendance, that can create even more challenges. And they also don't provide crisis services or chemical dependency services. If you are fortunate enough to have private insurance, you can attempt to see one of the many independent clinicians on Bainbridge Island. But once you determine what your mental health coverage for your insurance looks like, what your copay is, how many sessions do they actually cover, does that clinician accept that insurance, you have the potential to sit on a waiting list for up to three months. Mm -hmm. And after that time that you have your first session, you might realize that that clinician is not actually the right fit, and you start the process over again. The number of barriers services to services that people face can lead them to getting inadequate treatment or typically giving up on getting treatment at all. Oftentimes that is when I get involved in their lives, but even I struggle to find the right support for individuals on Bainbridge. I recently worked with a 17-year-old girl who had fantastic mental health coverage through private insurance that was under her parents' policy but she was subsequently denied by three private practice clinicians on Bainbridge because her case was deemed too complex. People would be shocked if they knew how many therapists shy away from working with individuals that have suicidal ideation or suicide attempt history. Bainbridge Youth Services doesn't really see these kids. The schools are unsure how to keep these kids and those around them safe. Private practice clinicians turn them away, and the hospitals send them home to parents who have just experienced one of the most terrifying moments of their lives. Research suggests that 80 to 90% of youth who experience behavioral health symptoms can make a full recovery if they are provided the right evidence-based treatment services. But what happens when you live in a community that doesn't have the evidence-based treatment readily available? The reality is that the mental health industry is a broken system. Mm -hmm. And we are expecting kids and families to navigate and heal in a system that isn't working for them. Today, we don't have the capacity to fix that system. But we do have the capacity to do something different, to do something better. Together as a community and through organizations like the Tyler Moniz Project, we have the capacity to make access to therapists easier. We have the ability to come together and support kids by filling in some of the missing gaps in treatment services. With your support, we can bring Bainbridge Island substance use counselors, mental health professionals that specialize in trauma and crisis management, Providers that have the capacity to see anyone. Through the partnership of the Tyler Moniz Project and the Behavioral Health Outreach Program, we have already brought one youth therapist to the island. Kids see them for free, regardless of your insurance. But the reality is one isn't enough. So the rest of the county looks at Bainbridge 
as if we are different from the rest. So let's be different. Let us set the standard for what access to adolescent mental health treatment should look like. Because the kids on our island deserve to know that we have done everything that we can to ensure that they have a happy and healthy life. Woo!